What is going on ladies? Welcome to Morley Coaching and today we are doing a full-on video explaining exactly what calories are so that you understand calories for sustainable weight loss, okay? So this is a beginner's guide to your calorie awareness, to your calorie management and knowing exactly what are calories and how does it affect your weight loss. All right, let's get started. So what are calories? <laughs> The real definition is that a calorie is a unit of energy. In nutrition, it refers to the energy that we get from food and drinks and the energy that we use when we're doing a physical activity or workout, things like that, right? Um, now, in terms of how does it properly function in your body is that it provides you the right energy that your body needs that is necessary for your body to properly function from the basic metabolic processes like breathing and digestion and your heart beating to vigorous activities like exercising, walking, biking, so on and so forth. So it's really just how much energy you're using and consuming, if that makes sense. Now, how do they work within your body? So what happens is, let's say you're eating anything, anything, a strawberry, a bagel, whatever you want. When you eat, your body converts those calories that you are consuming from food into energy, okay? So it actually takes in that bagel or that strawberry, turns into, the, into glucose, and then divides it into your digestive tract, okay? Now, there is different ways of doing this. There is calories in versus calories out. There's calorie surplus, calorie deficit, and calorie maintenance, um, depending on what your goals are and what you're trying to achieve. So in terms of calories in versus calories out, it's the balance of how much you are eating compared to how much you are burning, whether you're trying to lose, whether you're trying to maintain your weight, whether you're trying to gain weight, it is how much you're eating compared to how much you're burning. A calorie surplus is eating more than what your body is currently burning. A calorie deficit would be eating less than what your cal your body is burning. And then the calorie maintenance is pretty much the same amount of calories that you are burning and eating at the same time, okay? Now, with all of that, okay, that makes total sense, Salome, but like, what is all of that? What is basal metabolic rate? This is probably the most important thing that you need to know is your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, is the number of calories that your body needs to function in general, to just stay alive, right? Um, to have your breathing, your circulation, your cell production, anything that's going on within your body, you're not doing anything. That is the number amount of food that your body needs. And those are the formulas for finding the right BMR for yourself, all right? Now, how does it affect it? Your age, your gender, your weight, your height, your muscle mass, and I think BMR is great to know exactly, you know, how much your body needs to burn. But again, everybody's different and we might have pre-existing conditions or things like that. And that it might affect your BMR as well. So you need to understand that it does help determine your calorie needs for your weight loss and your maintenance and, and your gain and just have that basic number of what your body needs. But it might be affected with underlying conditions or anything anything else that's going on, your lifestyle, things like that. Now, we, so in terms of knowing your calories, once you know that your basal metabolic rate is, we need to know what your total daily energy expenditure is, which is just TDEE, okay? That's the number of calories that you are burning when you're doing your physical activity, when you are sleeping, when you are exercising, anything like that, okay? Um, so what happens is that, your BMR is how much your body is currently burning without doing anything. Now, if you add any type of exercises um, or, you know, thermic, thermic effect of foods, like your, how much your body is burning while digesting and processing your food, um, maybe you're walking or you're fidgeting, things like that, that is going to add more calories into your diet because you are doing more than just surviving, if that makes sense. So from there, what we're going to do is that we're going to calculate our BMR first, okay? Oop. 
we're going to calculate our BMR, then we're going to determine our activity level, whether we're sedentary, light active, moderately active, so on and so forth. And then we're ca going to calculate our TDD by multiplying our BMR by our activity level. So for example, a person with a basal metabolic rate of 1500 calorie, let's say you're moderately active, so you're working out like three to four times a week, we're going to time that 1500 by 1 1.55. And then what you are, your body's actually burning throughout the entire day would be 23, 25 calories. That is the amount of calories that your body is currently burning with working out three to four days a week and a BMR of 1500 calories. I hope that makes sense. There's also this right here for you guys. Um, now, in terms of weight loss, you probably have heard of this. You need to burn more than what you're eating, which is called a calorie deficit. Right? So when it comes to a calorie deficit, is consuming fewer calories than what your body needs to maintain its current weight. Okay? It is crucial, I truly believe, for weight loss, but I also want to point out that it is great for weight loss if you are eating the certain amount of BMR, basal metabolic rate, in the first place. If you're already starving yourself, and let's say your body needs 1,500 calories, but you're only eating 1,000, you first need to get to that BMR before you get into a calorie deficit, okay? So let's point that out before I move on. It's very important after you are eating the right amount of calories in the first place. Now, in terms of exercise and calorie management, the more you exercise, the more you're going to burn. It's just how it is. Um, so there's different types of exercises. There's going to be your cardio, which is going to be a high number of calories in a very short amount of time. There's going to be your strength training, which increases your resting metabolic rate, which I think is the best, uh, because your body is burning through calories even while you're resting because you are working out and you are building some muscle. So we're losing fat, but we're also building muscle at the same time. And then it's the balance between cardio and strength training, which I think would be like circuit workouts or HIIT workouts. Those are really great and they're optimal for calorie burn really fast in a short period of time. So I like to do a little bit of strength training and circuit HIIT workouts um, with my clients to get the best of both worlds. Now, what is calorie quality versus qu calorie quantity? Like I, like I showed you right here, you could get anything at... Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, this coffee, toast, bagel, whatever it is, for 1,400 calories, or you could get all of this food for an entire day of eating, which is so much healthier for 1,400 calories. So just a breakfast or an entire day, which this would be better, right? Because not all calories are created equal, okay? Not at all. The nutritional value can be based on its source. So 100 calories of vegetables is not the same as 100 calories of candy, as you guys would know. Um, now, nutrient-dense foods are really, really great. They're high in vitamins, high in minerals, and other beneficial nutrients. So they're going to be great for better health benefits. And then the empty calories is going to be the high sugar, the high fat, with little to no nutritional value at all which is going to be your sugary drinks, your processed snacks, all, all this stuff right here on the left. Um, so what you want to do is you want to prioritize your diet into nutrient-dense options that provide you more nutrients and better quality for optimal health and weight loss in general rather than quantity, okay? Now, some myths, like I, we talked about just now, is that all calories are created equal. We just talked about it. No. Quality definitely matters. Um, a myth number two is that you have to eat less in order for you to lose weight. Absolutely not. If you are already not eating your basal metabolic rate, you are not eating enough. So most of my clients, we get it back up to that basal metabolic rate and then we go back down because you can actually eat more because you are increasing your activity level and you are burning more calories, okay? So you don't necessarily have to starve yourself in order for you to lose weight. And skipping meals, which is myth number three, 
will slow down your metabolism, which is going to lead to overeating later on, and we don't want to do that either. So let's not skip meals. Again, you don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to skip meals in order for you to lose weight. Let's focus on balanced meals throughout your day rather than starving yourself. All right, so some ways that you can um, manage your calories is by tracking it. MyFitnessPal is a really good one to track it. It's very easy. Maybe use some smaller plates with the serving sizes so that you avoid overeating. Um, definitely read the food label so that you know quality versus quantity and then staying hydrated throughout the day is going to help you manage a lot of that hunger and avoid making the the mistake of thirst for hunger because the number one sign of dehydration is hunger so anytime that you're feeling like snacking you're probably just dehydrated all right so now that you know everything about calories um and the basic information about what you need for a sustainable weight loss all you need to do is start tracking, knowing exactly what your basal metabolic rate is and your TEDD. That way you can actually know how much food you should be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis in order for you to lose weight, okay? And if you're interested, I have a lot of clients that first came to me not knowing, again, how much to eat in a day, which was causing them to not see results. So I did create a free cheat sheet that's going to help you know exactly how much food you should be eating with a plug-and-play math formula that's very simple um, and I have some recipes and some workouts in there as well so if you want a copy of it make sure to drop me below this video or send me a message on my Instagram and um, or Facebook and I would appreciate it I'll send you that information I appreciate you all it will also be in the description I appreciate you all I hope you got tons of value if you need anything or you have any questions let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon bye